Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but as soon as I personally see a little bit of sunshine coming down through the clouds, I just want to bring out my summer shirt collection. And yes, I know we're only in spring and summer is a few months away, but I don't really care. So we're going to take a look at three different shirts at three different price points and just see what's best. So let's kick things off by looking at the first shirt, which is from ASOS. So this is the first shirt then. The brand is actually top man, even though it was bought from ASOS. Now, what really drew me to this shirt was the design and the pattern of the top. I just thought it looked a bit unusual, a bit different. Um, you've got this kind of watercolor design which runs all the way throughout it. You've got a few different colors throughout there. You've got a blue, gray, and almost like a yellow and green. And that goes really well with that dark color overall. Now, this is a short sleeve shirt and it came to 25 pounds, which I just think is exceptionally good value uh, for a summer shirt. Now, the material that they've used with this shirt is viscose, which is very lightweight. And it's great for summertime because it's very breathable, very airy, and it fits really well on frames. So I can't wait to try this on, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, I've now got the shirt on, as you can see, and I am so, so pleasantly surprised by what we've got here, especially for 25 pounds, that is just such a good deal. In terms of fit, this fits so, so nicely. In terms of length, it's just right. It's not too tight on the chest. It doesn't pull any of the buttons at all, so that's a bonus, and the sleeve fits just perfect as well so no issues with any of the fit at all and it's exceptionally lightweight so i can definitely imagine wearing this in the summertime and not having any issues with feeling too uncomfortable or too hot so yeah overall this is a great shirt for 25 pounds and the only other thing i can really say about this shirt is if you want to buy it i'll put a link in the description to this video as i will do with all the shirts that you see today so be sure to check them out down below okay so let's move on to shirt number two which which is one of my favorite shirt brands at the moment. It's a brand called Blue Sky Inn. And if you haven't heard of them, be sure to Google them, check them out. Again, links are down below because they have some incredible looking shirts for the summer. And they've also got some nice shorts and other alternatives too. So let's take a look at the shirt, which you can see right here. And yes, you're probably thinking, what on God's earth is this design. But before we get into all the details about this shirt, it is worth noting that this is a size large. I bought it from Farfetch and it cost around 200 pounds. Now for a mid-range shirt, I think 200 pounds, 198 pounds is pretty good value. And especially once I talk about how good this shirt is. So I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm just gonna put this shirt on straight away so you can see what it's like on person. Okay, so I'm now wearing the shirt and yeah, I just absolutely love what we've got here. It just looks so so good on person and I really like the design too I know that it's loud it's definitely a bit garish you've got these palm trees on the front and the back of the shirt in these nice orange reds and kind of dark colors which complement the kind of beige overall of the shirt really really well not only have you got these nice prints, but you've also got embroidered logo, which is just behind that. It says Blue Sky In, so that's a nice touch too. Uh, in terms of material, this is viscose as well. So again, this is a very light wearing shirt for the summer. So perfect conditions, perfect design, and perfect fit, in my opinion. Now, there is one very small negative thing to talk about, and you may have noticed that this was not wrapped up. It was actually on a hanger. Reason being is that I actually bought this at the end of December last year year however I wore it once washed it once and then it shrunk luckily I did get in contact with Farfetch and they issued me a full refund and I was able to purchase it again but what I will definitely not be doing is machine washing it I'll be dry cleaning it in the future because otherwise this thing is going to shrink but besides that this is a great shirt for under 200 pounds and yeah if you're able to buy it definitely go ahead again the links are down below uh, there's some great alternative designs that they've got I actually own a few different shirts from Blue Sky in. As I said before, they are an up and coming design um, or a brand that you should definitely be paying attention to, especially for this summer. Okay, let's move on to the third and final and the most expensive shirt today, another purchase from Farfetch. All right then, this is the third and final shirt and you don't really need me to tell you what brand this is. You can tell by the logo on the front that this is an off-white shirt. And I've got to be honest, hand on heart, I've not really bought anything from Off-White main label for a very, very long time. But there are some new pieces coming in the new season, which I really like the look of, and this is one of them. So a few details about this shirt. Then this, again, as I said before, came from Farfetch. The price is £405, so definitely the most 
expensive shirt that we're looking at here today. And in terms of material, this is actually made up from three different materials. You've got cotton, polyester, and spandex. In terms of feel, this definitely feels maybe like a pair of chinos. That's all I can kind of explain it in terms of material. Uh, definitely thicker and not what I was expecting from the product images. Okay, I've now got the shirt on, as you can see. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of feel like I'm working for UPS a little bit with this shirt. In terms of the design and the color, I do like the color and I actually like the logo in the black. It's printed on, it's not embroidered, so that's something to take into consideration. You do have a small detail on the back near the collar, which does say again, off-white. In terms of fit, Unfortunately, this is where it falls down the most because I went for a medium. Now, typically with off-white sizing, I always go down a size because it is usually oversized. I went for a medium and this is still too big, which is a real shame. So unfortunately, I will probably be having to return this t-shirt. Whether or not I'll rebuy it or not is kind of still to be decided. One additional styling option which might look good with this shirt is if you do kind of roll the sleeves up to expose a little bit more arm, that might offer a different style and a different look, but there's not really much else you can do with this shirt besides just having it on as normal, having it open or with the kind of adjustments on the sleeves. Okay, so overall then, I'm really happy with all three shirts that we have here today. I know that the off-white didn't quite fit properly, but in terms of styling, there are three great options here for everyone, I think. And when summer's not really that far away, you really wanna get your summer shirts in early. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. I've been Matt Rideout, this has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed it, please drop me a comment and a like down below. It does mean the world to me. You can also follow me on Instagram up here. I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.